This is the create an account feature. And when we give you a template as an urban grocery affiliate, there'll be a link here for this um, feature. So I recommend you keep that on your home page. And why create an account? Let's look at that. When you create an account, you'll be able to save items for future order. When you order without an account, you can order now and create an account at checkout. Your items will be saved to your custom list for use on future orders. However, items add to the cart and not checked out are not saved. Create an account to save items for future orders. So you can see here, they can create an account by putting in their name, email, address, apartment, and so on. So one interesting aspect of this feature is that they can fill in the first page, and then when they click Next, it's going to save their data, and then they can fill in their credit card information. By experience, we found that the majority of people don't want to fill in their credit card information, but the system will still capture all the information on the first page, and then when they log into their account, they can fill in their credit card later, or you could you know, get that information directly from them by phone, for instance. So then you have a prospect list of customers. So this is really a great feature. Hi. Good afternoon. Welcome to the screencast showing you how to use the marketing tools in the back end of the urban grocery delivery system. Today we're going to be focusing on sending emails to customers and specifically to customers who registered but did not order yet. Although you could use the same technique for selecting emails of customers who did order or who joined between certain dates and certain dates and so on. Okay, so now we're on the Urban Grocery Delivery System uh, back end. So what we want to do to find customers who haven't ordered yet is these are these steps. First of all, click this button to calculate the last order. That's going to fill in this last order field that they've already ordered, and I've already done that. The next step is to expand out the search search um, tools here on top by clicking search here and then for the last order you're going to want to put is blank to choose those who have not ordered and also option you can fill in other search criteria here I've decided to select the um, customers who registered after March 1st 2018 or within the last um, that time period, but in that time period, the last less than a year. And so I'm going to do the perform search, and then that's going to select those. Now I've also ch checked here to only choose active customers. So if any customers have been marked as inactive here, for whatever reason, they're duplicate or they moved or something, or they're inactive for any reason, they won't show. So now we have a list of customers, only customers who have been ordered, oh, and they registered on the website after uh, March 1st, 2018. So now we can um, export these so we can send an email using email programs such as MailChimp or others. We click on the little Excel icon here, and then it's going to ask you to download the file. Now I've already done this ahead to check it. So you can register, uh, rather name this file anything you want. I'm just going to use this name. And since it's already there, it gives me a warning. And then you can see, once it downloads, you have a comma separated list of all of these customers. Here. It's, oops, I see it's off the screen now. Anyway, the list is a comma separated list of the customers. So you can see here the customers and it includes their name and their email and also just their first name. So this would be handy like to use in a, a salutation field, their first name and then their email. Okay. And um, I know you won't be able to see some of this stuff because I'm blocking this data out. But anyway, that gives you the general idea. So now you've exported the um, emails. Another thing you can do is see which customers have entered items into their custom list when they save items for future orders. 
this will give you an idea of idea of customers who are really good prospects because they've already been online and building their custom list. So if we look, for instance, at this customer and click on custom list, there's nothing there. Okay. So, uh, but if we look, say, at this customer here, we see that this customer has already chosen some items. So that means that's a good prospect. And say we look at this customer here, we see that click custom list, they haven't yet chosen any items. But this customer here, for instance, we see has chosen a list of items. So that means you may want to um, send a, a better offer or, you know, focus more on those customers because they're uh, more interested. Next, after having exported our list in a comma separated format, which we've just showed you, you can use these emails in any kind of email marketing platform. I like MailChimp. They give you 10,000 emails a month and up to 2,000 subscribers. For most people, that will be great to use their free account. Why not? And it's easy to use. So once you're logged into your um, preferred email marketing platform, as I said, MailChimp is a good one, then you could go to lists and for instance, I have some different lists here, but what you can do, we, let's create a list just to show you how it's done. So now we could create a list. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll call this list name Regis Registration dash no order. Okay. And we'll fill in a from, from email address. You know, so we'll put our, e we have to put our from email address here. Devolve from name. So, like you could use your company name. How did they add to list? You signed up for. the urban grocery delivery service. Okay. Contact information. And um, there's some other options here. When do you want to know if people subscribe to your list? Well, we don't have any subscription form right now. Or unsubscribe. If you want a summary of who's of subscribe, unsubscribe, or stuff, you can do that here. So now we've set up a new list. So then we could add contacts. We'll import the contacts. We use a CSV or tab delimited text file. Import contacts from CSV or .txt file. Next. Then we'll choose the file from our computer. So here we'll go on the, on the computer and we'll choose um, the file that we just made, which is um, register no order. So then we'll go next. Okay, so we've got different columns here. We don't really need ID field. We don't need the active field status. Now, this is their full name. So you probably wouldn't say Dear John Smith. So I think I'll skip that. We don't need their address. Um, we don't need their apartment. Um, it might be nice to have their city, the state, the zip code. That could be handy for sorting, although we don't absolutely need that. Probably don't need their phone number. 
zip uh, or the work phone number. So you have to take a minute to go through these different fields, the other phone number. The last order. Um, well, right now we don't need that. They haven't ordered. Now the first name will be handy for salutation, so we'll certainly um, we'll in the, in my email template here. There's available column as first name, so we'll put that. And then here, uh, let's see. So we got the this is email address, so we'll uh, save that. And then let's see, we don't. Uh, the begin date could be handy. I'll go ahead and um, oh, we have to select a column to put it in. We may not have any column for that. Opt in time. Uh, okay, we could put that put that under opt in time. I guess no problem. Um, company. There's no companies listed here. But let's see, do we have a company field? Address, first thing, last. Address, city, state, zip, country, phone number. So we don't have any field for that. We won't worry about that right now. We'll skip that. And um, these are some more internal fields we don't really need. OK, so now we've got the import set up. It looks like we're going to import the first name and the email, the, op the date they start signed up, and also city, state, and zip. Sounds good. Uh, we'll uncheck it. Oh, it says four unmatched columns. Okay. Okay, everything's matched. Click next to finish. All right, we'll click next. So. And then finally, import. Registration note order. So now we've imported these addresses. Okay, so we see, so we have a list here. So then, now the list is in your email program. And in this um, video, I'm not going to show you like how to do the email, but the list is in here, so you can go to campaigns and create your email. And um, if you use MailChimp, um, you can easily learn from their tutorials how to do that um, and set up an email and send it to your clients. You can also send up automatic emails in MailChimp, which is really nice. Like once a month, you could send them a notice saying, hey, get $5 off your first order to, and just keep sending that, you know, until such time as they order, for instance. So this is a really nice way to market to potential clients and the clients are coming to you. So these are really good um, prospects. I hope you've enjoyed this um, how-to video from the Ur Urban Grocery. Um, do subscribe to our channel. Um, let us know if we can serve you with Urban Grocery Delivery System for stores and as well as entrepreneurs. And thank you for watching.